What's up guys, so I'm gonna show you how we made these beds. Um, I'm making a new plot right now. This was all Bermuda grass back in the spring and it's been tarped. Then I brought a skid steer in and cut out a hill and then moved the excess dirt that way for a new plot and then brought some back so that it was level and there was a nice transition in between both of them. And uh, yeah, now I'm shoveling these in and I'll show y'all the process here, it's really easy. This is how we uh, make our, start and make our plots. So salad sharp down, this was put down in May because it's all, this was all Bermuda grass. So, it's now October. You can see what it's done to the grass. It's pretty soft too, like a lot of times voles and stuff will get in here and break it up. But, so then after it gets to this point, I'll bring the BCS with the rotary plow in and start in the middle, make a big, uh, like shoot the dirt this way, shoot the dirt this way, and then turn the BCS around and put the wheel in the ditch and shoot the dirt back so it's about even and then you keep doing that and then it leaves you with a pretty level surface. And then measure out 40 by 100, set your ends, and then get the shovel out and just dig the um, pathways and just shovel it into your beds with some string line. So I started every single one of our beds the same way, coming through with a rotary plow, which leaves it with this level field right here and then just shoveling the walkways out and putting it on the beds and that's what creates the raised beds. So these are all created the same way here. The, all the beds in here, all the beds in the tunnels are made the same way. And yeah, it's been really easy to maintain. I've, I've been putting leaves down in the um, walkways now instead of a lot of times people use the rotary plow to shoot the soil back onto the beds. But I think with how soft our soil is here, it's kind of soft. I don't think I need to do it. And it's one, it's a one till, I guess you could call it harsh. I don't really think it's any worse than what a pig would do if you left pigs somewhere, or even chickens for that matter. And then hand shoveling the, um, the beds to get them really where I want them to be. And yeah, then planting, adding compost and never really tilling again. Sometimes a little baby till is what I like to call it, but you would do the same thing with a rake. It's just the BCS is way faster and more level and all those things. So, get to it. All right, so here's the beds. And here's the method. Shovel this walkway out into your string bed. Then where there isn't a walkway, shovel this out over to here. I do have another video on this method. I actually made that video building these beds. So I did say in a previous video that I would show the progress of this plot coming together. So this is it. Real quick for the people that have followed the videos, uh, my back is pretty darn tootin' good right now. I did hurt it last week in a different spot, but went to the chiropractor right away, got it adjusted, and been eating a lot of turmeric, beef broth, and uh, yeah, kind of taking it easy, but and yesterday I was just like, you know, whatever. I'm tired of being hurt, so it doesn't hurt today. So take your big grass clumps out, because they'll grow back. Some of this stuff, pretty worthless. I mean, this is all it is. This is a regular old flat shovel. I've had this shovel for like, I think since I was in college. And once you get going, you just have a nice rhythm. And then um, try and take a look at your beds. So like, if that one has enough soil that you can rake it level, and this one needs more, you can throw it this way. You're, all you're doing is shoving out the walkways and throwing it onto your bed.
nothing like building beds to prove to yourself you're you're fat and out of shape now from having to hurt back. But okay, now that that's done, we're gonna take this string and move it 18 inches from this one over here. Okay, 18, measure it. One foot six inches. It's, it's correct where it's at. Now, I'll move the other end over from this post. Same thing on the other side. And that gives me a perfectly straight 18 inch walkway. Now before I started all this, I measured out 40 feet by 100 feet because that's what we use for stuff because that's because that's what we use for pots and found my corners and then that's where I started well I actually started from this corner but when you measure everything out and you stick to two corners all you have to do is meet those two corners and it's soil so if you're a few inches off you're a few inches off it's not that big of a deal you don't have to have a BCS to do this all you need is something to work the soil so if you had a neighbor with a tractor of some sort or whatever you could till it. Uh, you don't have to till it if you don't want to, but it's up to your to your preference. Um, every single one of these beds was done the same way, and I didn't, you know, terribly kill the soil by tilling it once. So after all these beds are built, um, I either cover crop them or put one yard of compost on each bed, and then this one was cover crop. So same exact method is over here, except when I was done building the beds, I just threw cover crop on it. This plot will let it grow up and then we'll crimp it. I don't know if I'm gonna crimp it or mow it yet. It depends on our demand and what we need to do and all those things. But ideally, you let this grow up and then when it's flowering, crimp it, which breaks the plant and kills the flow of nutrients to the top of the, top of the plant. And then it's an in-place mulch. And um, then you can plant right into the mulch. You can move it back and put your plant into it. And this will likely be all fried squash for the honey hog. Probably. I'm not totally sure yet. So I explained the silage tarp um, in Josh's video that I clipped into here. And um, another benefit of them is we're going to get four inches of rain between now and Thursday afternoon. So. I'm gonna tarp this for the rain and keep it this nice workable moisture level because otherwise it'd be a mud pit. Just to add some more value here, everything over here was just covered with row cover all winter. Everything was planted in the fall except for that rulet bed back there. You can't really see it, but um, yeah. Everything was just covered with row cover, two layers, and we've had four or five nights at 20 degrees, some really cold days. We've had a little bit of snow. Uh, but yeah, it's February and uh, it's coming along. This stuff in the tunnel, these are all collards for the honey hog. They do like 20 to 30 pounds a week. And <clears throat> I've never double covered these in here in the cold nights. I should have covered the fennel that got some cold damage and I double cover the salad when it needs to be covered but the kohlrabi up there and the collards are okay Take that birth defective spine. <laughs>